were the only three brothers ever to win Challenge Cup winners medals. They're just normal, one of the mill people, brought up tough. We just want to be winners. No, that's Tom Collins, that's the other Welsh man. That's me. Oh, it is. It's a championship fan, lad. I, I'm Eric Chisnall. I'm Les Chisnall. We want to tell you the story of our family, the Chisnall family. Three brothers have won Challenge Cup winners medals and won a professional boxer. Myself, Eric and my Dave have played for Great Britain on numerous occasions. Nowadays everybody wants to play football for Man United. Them days it was rugby because they used to get crowds of 37, 40,000 people. Growing up was very hard in the 40s, 50s, but it was that little bit more difficult for us because my father died when we were fairly young. With having no father, the money was scarce. We only had a two-bedded house and there was just seven people, so it was mix and match and put people tail. in different places, different bedrooms. We learnt our rugby league on the on the streets, on the streets and on the local the local pitches. Even with a rolled up newspaper or anything that you could handle. No, we're just very well behaved kids. I don't think my mum would have had any problems with us. Well <laughs> not much. She was strict once you really kept us in place. We all wanted to win. Yeah, yeah. We all wanted to win. And that went on all the way through and so we turned professional players and then it, it went worse then, you know, the will to win because there was a little bit of money involved. If you lost it was £7, if you won it was £27, so, you know, it was everybody for itself. But my mum was murdered about the will to win, wasn't she? she oh, always, yeah. yeah. She always wanted to win. And if she played cards, she, you know, simple as that. She, she, she always win, wanted to win. You know, so that, that's perhaps where we got a little bit from. I was working in St. Helens and this chap said to another fellow, Eric plays rugby league, you know, for, for Pilks, and that was, that was all that was said. And a week later, this old chap come knocking at the door, you know, from Wigan. We want you to come and have trials. And Saints found out somewhere or other that I was having trials at Wigan, and they sent a scout to watch me. Basil Law came and knocked at our door. He said to me, anything Wigan give you, we'll, we'll give you more. We didn't know what, what to ask for, you know. We just said a, a thousand pound. Right, done. And it was signed and done and dusted. Which was a bargain for Saints. Well, made them pay a little bit later on, I think. <laughs> <laughs> We're the only three brothers ever to win Challenge Cup winners medals. You know, that's three of us played at went each for different teams. The first one to get picked for Great Britain was the youngest our day, he was 20. He went on to the 1970 tour. You know, I think he was the youngest prop forward he was. to tour. And four years later, I got picked to tour Australia for Great Britain. And it was a World Cup in 1975, and both me and Odia got picked to go on the same tour in 1975 for seven weeks. That's better. I've trained quite a few good young international players, James Roby, Johnny Lomax, James Graham, who was, he was, a, he was a fiery customer, but he was murdered. He, he used to go behind the sticks and he shouted and I was saying, James, just, just take it easy, don't be, your mum's over there, no, no man language gone. Tom, make sure you get a good squeeze on him as well. I just help the head coach out, kids want an arm around them. I just love being about the rugby players where the kids are and being part and parcel of the club. You do need that will to win. I mean, you can you can coach kids and you can tell kids things to be blue in the face, but if they've not got the will to win, they can get left behind. We all wanted to win. It's in your jeans, I, I think. think. I think it was yeah. in Bills, as you said. Yeah. I think it was in, in Bills. Inside. You come home from work and you're a bit fed up and you go to rugby, you just forget everything and you just start doing what you love. And that's us, isn't it? Yeah. We love the game. As long as we're winning. <laughs> that's the main <laughs> thing, of course. It's really worth joining the Jeans Reunited website because it'll give you access to loads of original records that you can use to trace your family tree.